Hi everybody, good morning. It's Scott. I'm in the restaurant. Oh, something's wrong. Uh, let's see. All right, it's Scott Fortunoff. I'm here at the GNS warehouse and uh, I'm getting started with my live video. I did want to, it's weird, it sounds probably a little weird. Uh, make sure your volume is up. Uh, make sure you know it's April 2nd and it's 11 o'clock in the morning. If you are watching this at any other time, it, you are not watching it live. Um, I'm in the bathroom. I've been at the warehouse for a while. My hands are very dirty. I don't want to be dirty for you all. So I'm going to walk out of the bathroom. And again, for those of you who are new, uh, this is our warehouse that we basically took over when we bought Free Spirit. Um, that was kind of just how it played out. And you're in for a real treat. So again, I'm Scott Fortunoff. I'm the owner of several quilt shop companies. Uh, Studio E, Blank, Henry Glass, Free Spirit. Uh, we have A. Nathan, we have Three Wishes, uh, we have a nice mix of everything. So I'm here at GNS Warehouse, which is in Seneca, South Carolina. You've been here before. I know I have a lot of new followers since I've been here, so uh, you might have seen some of this before. Um, but I do want to say while you're all here is stay till the end. I'm giving away six bolts of fabrics if you answer my questions. So uh, you're not going to want to miss it. And uh, let's see what's going on here today. So again, I was in the bathroom and I'm coming out. This um, building is four buildings, and each building is, uh, three of the buildings are 20,000 square uh, feet, and one is 30,000. So in total, we have 90,000 square feet. Again, make sure your volume is up, because um, there is a lot of machinery and other background noise. So get some coffee, put your feet up, relax, and come hang out with me, and uh, we're gonna do a nice little show of the GNS warehouse. You're gonna see some great fabrics. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. And, and again, stay till the end. I will be giving away six bolts of fabric. I'd really love to keep it in the US. No offense to you people overseas. I love you guys too. But when I start shipping overseas, it starts to get real expensive. Um, so we'll see what happens. We'll see who gets the right answers and uh, we'll work it out. So let's do this. So. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to talk as loudly as possible so you could hear me because I know when I turn it, uh, things change as far as the sound goes. So here we go. Let's do this. All right. So this is this right here. The guy who, who I'm looking at is Kenny. That's Jimmy's brother. He runs the, the um, warehouse with Jimmy and they do a great job. And you've seen this before. Uh, they have some loud music going, but basically they're bagging the fabric. And this is a cool machine. I know you guys always love the machinery. So uh, these are the double enrolled bolts right here that are on. They double enroll the bolts. They put them on these buggies. This is a buggy with wheels. It moves. See? Sorry. Good morning. And then he puts it on the machine. And this little bit of plastic goes over it. And then it goes in here and is cut. See it gets cut. And then it comes out here, now it's cut and separated, good morning. And then it goes in the heater, this is the heater, and it, the heater melts the plastic on top of the fabric, and now it's nice and sealed, it's nice and toasty and warm too. Good morning. Good morning. And she's, she's, uh, oh, she's using the hand machine for the bagging, and uh, that machine she's using for the pre-cut. So we're gonna look at this, let's see what she's got going on. Good morning, how are you? Let's see what you got here. She's got uh, black and white strips. Who are these? These are blank, black and white strips with yeah. the domino effect line. And she's gonna do this by hand. So that's hot, very hot? No. No? So here. So here, she's got it here. It's got a little air. She's gonna pop a hole in it so it doesn't take up too much space. I'm sorry, I know it's loud. I'm gonna go to a more quiet air. So this is cool. They blow off the, the um, there's a lot of little serrated edges. So they blow that off so um, it doesn't you know, get all over you and all over the shop and all that stuff. All right, so I'm gonna go to a quieter area and uh, sorry. All right, so I've told you guys this a million times. These are, this is ROT. When I use the, uh, the abbreviation ROT, that stands for a rolled on tube. Can you guys hear me okay? All right. So, um, so these are called rolled on tube. These are usually around 120 yard rolls. And you can see, I'm sure you guys are dying. This looks like cave and fill up and really beautiful stuff. I know you guys would love to be here with me, but look at all this. Can you guys hear me okay? Everyone hear me? 
Throw me some hearts. I hope you guys are enjoying this because I, I love giving you guys this special treat. There is fabric everywhere. Look at these rolls. So these are 120 yard rolls. Let's see, so here you can see right on the label. It says Free Spirit, PWPJ is uh, Patchwork, Philip Jacobs. Uh, let's see what else it says. Color Navy, the width 44 to 44 and a half. And it says 197 yards is the net quantity on that roll. So they need to cut that up. So now I'm gonna give you guys, tell you something interesting, which is very cool. Um, so you have a 197 yard roll, but we have to cut 15 yard cuts. Obviously that number is not divisible. So that's why we end up with messed up pieces sometimes. It's just not perfect. Uh, we do the best we can. And I always like to tell everyone that we do the best we can. It's fabric, it's imperfect. This is really cool. So this is uh, PWPJ, another Philip Jacobs. These look like those um, little stone things that my parents used to have in their house that was on like a little display. Um, and that's probably what it is, because Philip is great. This looks like seeds and stems from Kathy Dowdy. This looks like more seeds and stems. Let's see. So this is uh, PWMO. I'm not sure who that is, but it says Kathy Dowdy. So that's hers. All right, you guys still hear me okay? This is Laura Heine. Starting to get better with the names. It's not easy, but I'm getting better. Again, don't forget, stay with me. I'm gonna do at the end, I'm giving away six bolts of fabric. Yes, full bolts of fabric. So that's your ROT, you guys got it. All right, so let's walk around a little. More ROT, and then they set the boards up. So the boards are all prepared. So when they move these over to the cutter, he has the boards right there to put the proper fabric on the proper um, boards so they have the proper label. Again, sorry, I can't really do sideways. Uh, let's see, I can't stand them up. All right, I'm not gonna do that. So, all right, so here we just have tons of fabric waiting to be put up on the shelves. This is Halloween. We ship all of our Halloween in April. That's uh, our pretty standard. And then in May, we ship all of our Christmas. And then June, we ship our winter theme lines. So um, that's what we do. Oh, you guys, oh my God, there's so much fabric here. So we're doing really good in reducing the old free spirit inventory that we inherited that was aged. Uh, this is a little Tula Love on the 108 for the Pinkerbill line. Here's a little cape. Uh, the, um, this is the full blown, really beautiful. And then more of the Tula and then more of the cape. On the 108s, we do really great with the 108s. Um, and then here's just some assorted stuff. This looks like stuff goods. This is a really cool stuff digital. Here's another digital. They had this nice group by Peter Parling. And then we have the headers that we use to identify. So stuff sends us these cap sets, and this is how we sell, but it has all the patterns, and you can see it all here. And then we like to just double check and make sure we're cutting the right fabrics you know, make sure something's not mislabeled. So they have more of these caps here. And uh, they do that. So again, this is Scott Fortunoff. I'm here at the GNS Warehouse. This is the Greg and Scott Warehouse in Seneca, South Carolina. And I'm walking through the aisles in the first building. Um, it's um, April 2nd, it's around 11.05. If you're watching this after 11.05, it is not live. So do not tell me to walk slower, talk louder, and stuff like that. A woman the other day <laughs> was saying to me, wait, but here, let me just walk you through. I'm gonna talk at the same time. This is uh, Zuma. We still have some Zuma left. Um, but so in any case, I was looking at one of the videos that I did, and uh, it was the one at Gotham where we did the opening of the Pinkerville collection and uh, there was a glare in the fabric and uh, I, I'm looking at the comments and she keeps saying, take off the plastic, I can't see, take off the plastic, I can't see, I'm about to get off this video. <laughs> so I wrote her and I'm like, this video is like from three days ago, I, I unfortunately can't help you. So that's why I'm trying to tell everyone it's April 2nd again and it's about 11.10 and this is Scott Fortunoff, I'm at the GNS Warehouse, and if you stay with me till the end, I'm gonna give away six bolts of fabrics, but you gotta be at your keyboard and ready to answer all the questions. Look, so, so this is a good sign. We are reducing inventory. Look, we have some empty shelves. This is awesome. This was pretty filled when we bought Free Spirit, but we're slowly but surely reducing 
the older stocks. The team is getting very creative in the ways that they could re-merchandise um, and, and sell these patterns that we need to move on from. Oh God, now I need to breathe. All right, so how are we doing? Anyone have any questions? I really haven't been looking at the comments. I'm gonna go into the next room. So now this is the next room. Over here we have tons of pre-cuts and this is how they come in. Here, I'm gonna show you some. This is the Tula Holiday Homies. I'm sorry, I got a lot to cover. Just sit down and relax. I'm gonna get you through this, I promise. So we got some more pre-cuts. This is a cave one. This is the Collective Classics, beautiful. And then we have some of the uh, five inch charms. Uh, you can't come visit now. It's, it's not really safe for anyone. I would hate for someone to come here and hurt themselves or get their shirt dirty or anything like that. All right, so here we got more free spirit pre-cuts. Um, most of our companies don't do nearly as many pre-cuts as free spirit. Free spirit um, does a lot of pre-cuts. That's what they do. And they always have and they will continue. So this is the white, but we still have lots of these. Um, if you want these, ask your quilt shop to buy them. As I always tell everyone, and I will repeat it again until I'm blue in the face, if you want something, ask your favorite shop owner, your local quilt shop, understand that they cannot buy. I'm gonna how do you? Understand that they cannot buy every single thing that every company sells. It's just too much, it's too much money, it doesn't make sense. It's really, um, they, have, they know their customer, they know their business, we need to let them decide what is best for them. So I'm gonna turn it back around, I'm sweating, it's hot in here, I'm dirty and gross. You need like 12 showers when you're out of this place. So here, so this is a good one. So this is the CAIF design wall. Um, this is, if you go to see CAIF on one of his events, uh, you will have to use one of these and you will be using it to put all your fabrics on, your hexes or whatever you're using and uh, you'll put them there on the design board. Uh, that used to be sold in a 15 yard bolt, which was really foolish because everyone who bought it bought two yards at a time. So uh, the geniuses that we are, we made into 16 yard bolts and uh, now you get eight two yard cuts. So I'm just gonna show you some random things that we have here and I'm gonna show you again, uh, GP91. GP is CAFE, I think it's Glorious Patchwork, Pattern 91, Turquoise. And I'm gonna show you some other stuff. I picked the Japanese chrysanthemum as the bolt that I wanna give away for those, it's the person that answers the CAFE question correctly. Here we have the color cards to help the people in the warehouse identify things, you know, Realize that there's zillions of bolts here. I mean, we're talking, uh, what are we talking about? Probably three million yards. So uh, it's not easy. You know, there's old stuff out and new stuff in. And, you know, right when you get the line and you have it all figured out, it's time for a new line. Let's see. These guys look sad. They're all alone. This is an Anna Marie Horner. All right. I haven't been looking at any questions. I'm sorry. I'm like trying to breathe and uh, walk and I'm sweating and I'm dirty, and I probably smell, but you can't smell me. Can you smell my breath? Does it smell okay today? I hope it's not bothering you guys. All right, so these are our solids, the Free Spirit Designer Solids. Uh, this program, we're gonna work on revamping at some point. We're gonna update it. I know uh, Denise Schmidt is gonna be looking into uh, updating the, the uh, solid line. We're gonna tighten it up a little. 175 colors is a little bit insane. We don't do that many colors. That is just total madness and psychosis. So uh, we'll have to work on that. All right, so I'm looking. What am I looking? What do you guys want to see? Tell me. Oh, you breathe. Your breath smells lovely. <laughs> don't worry. Oh, Lisa, you're so nice. Yes, Sue Bartlett. If you get the question right, you could win a whole bolt of the Japanese chrysanthemum. It was just staring me down. And uh, for Tula Pink, I have a treat too. And Pepper Cory. And for Henry Glass, what did we pull out? I forget. But here, this is, um, this looks like Morris & Co. 
So Morrison Co. This is the really popular design, the Strawberry Thief. Uh, I'm sorry, I hope it's not glaring. It's upside down, right side up. Let's see. How are we doing on time here? Can someone tell me what time it is? Oh, I'm gonna get to the other warehouses, Mimi series. You relax, don't you worry, we're gonna get there. Don't you worry, we're gonna do the whole thing. Here are the pots. Up here, these are some goodies. I know you're gonna like these. These look all, I can't tell who's who, but they look like Philip. Philip, you'll see them all. Don't worry, I'll give you a little bit of everything. This looks like Brandon. It may be, it may not be. Let's see. PWGP, nope, it's Cave. I'm not that good. Here's some shots. Someone time update, please. Let's see, it's 11.15. All right, so we're, we're moving along. Here are the shots and stripes. And uh, on the, oh, this is a good one. So the, um, the shot cottons, we are gonna do an update and probably add some new colors for Cave's shots. Here, these are really beautiful. How are we doing? No warehouse sale. Sorry. We're still in business. We're still running a full-time business. Hey, slow down. All right, so here we go. See, here's Alex. He's, he's pulling the, uh, some pre-cuts for an order. Oh, this is, looks like little Tim Holtz. This is a really beautiful one. I like it. I like it a lot. So this is on a pallet. See how this is a whole palette. <laughs> That's very funny. So, uh, and these are buggies. So, so let's see. These are second nature, 15 yard bolts. I don't know why these are here. Let's see what it says. Oh, these are going somewhere. So this is how we pull the orders. And this is an order. And these are the orders that are going to this customer. And then these, and then this, this whole buggy has see all the different papers. Those are all purchase orders. So we'll roll this down to the packing area and we will um, put them in boxes and then ship them out. And there you have it. That's how it works. So let's see what else we got here. Let's see, Muggall. Don't know that one, PWGP, yellow. All right, how we doing here, folks? We having fun yet or what? Um, again, it is probably around 11.20. Awesome, I love those hearts, thank you. Uh, it's 11.20, April 2nd. This is Scott Fortunoff. I'm here at the GNS Warehouse. And right now, hi, good morning. We're walking through the aisles of the um, Free Spirit. This is a really awesome line. This is Sue Penn. Have you guys seen this one? This is called Garden Bright. It's really amazing. Sue Penn did such a great job. These are so cool. They look like they're painted and they're digitally printed and they are awesome. They look batikish. Look how cool this is. Look at how amazing this is. And I'm sorry for the glare, um, but don't go off because of the glare. Uh, this has like a zillion colors and that's why we, we digitally printed it. Okay, so this is, oh, look at this one. This is like an ombre with, I mean, look at all these colors. This is amazing. Sue Penn really uh, did it. I am having fun, I do enjoy this, and I love how supportive my family is, and I'm calling you my family, my second family. Uh, I'm talking about the family without the last name Fortunoff, and that would be you guys, nice growing group of folks who are into fabric in the journey that I'm taking you on um, through the world of fabrics and the behind the scenes. I am gonna go this summer I decided I'm gonna take a trip and we're gonna to go to the other warehouse where we make pre-cuts. Um, I know Louise, I posted a video last week where Louise went to one of our facilities that we use and I'm gonna to go to the other one. I think they have some other technology. Uh, let's see. So we got, I mean, it's just so much fabric, guys. It's crazy. Um, all right, so I'm gonna keep cruising through. Uh, let's see, what else? Anyone have something they want to see? I'm really not watching. The comments are going so fast. Wow, I can see a Bargello and Supen. Oh, my Supen is great. Those colors. This is fun. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I like to give you the tour when I'm down here. It's really nice to see. And maybe we'll meet some of the people. Um, these people work very hard. Um, so I'll tell you something that's kind of interesting. Uh, 
we recently, there's been a lot of, oh, so here we got a lot of Philip, Jake, uh, a lot of um, Brandon, my man Brandon. He's got some cool stuff. Check these guys out. Oh, the glare is so annoying, but look at that. It's like a puffer fish. Really great. And these, what are these guys? The pomegranates. Let's see. Another Brandon Mabley. Giving you some love, Brandon Mabley. Where are you at? Is Philip on today? All right, here we got his his mad plaid. Love that name. So anyway, so um, uh, there, you know, one of the challenges of our business is definitely the cutting, because as I said in the beginning, we have a 197 yard roll and we're cutting 15 yard cuts. So it doesn't work out per perfectly. Oh, you guys love these spots. Um, so it doesn't work out perfectly. And a lot of times we end up with different size bolts. Um, sometimes it's not perfect. Uh, the machines may be off slightly and maybe we're sending you a 14.89 yard roll instead of 15 or we're sending you a 15.1. So we recalibrated all the machines. We really don't want to have this problem. We understand that when shops kit the lines um, that they need the exact amount. And when they cut it, they figure that you know, they may get to the last piece and then they um, find that they're short by a little. So we really don't want that. It's not worth it. So we, we recalibrated the machines and they're now gonna um, ship everybody about four inches extra. So here we go with some Cafe, the Millefiori. I know you guys love this one. All right, I'm gonna walk slowly through the Cafe section. Um, so anyway, so we, we um, added four inches so, oh, hi, Philip. good morning. So hopefully we won't be short. That's a good thing. We also slowed the machines down. A lot of these people who um, worked for us worked for the prior owner. He is different than us. He did not own the fabric and the warehouse. He just um, was a contractor. So his mission for his people was to cut as fast as they possibly could, but with speed, you lose accuracy and uh, neatness and stuff like that. So, um, you know, the thing is they get paid by the speed. So at the end of the day, if a guy does 10,000 yards, that's a ton, but his machine was going really fast and he worked really hard. So um, instead, of we, instead of doing that, we went a different way. We're doing, we're slowing down the machines and we're gonna pay them a little more because we'd rather have quality over speed. Oh, you guys loving this? What, which one is this? This is the uh, Coleus. Love this one, really nice. So now hopefully um, the improvements will be noticed. You'll see uh, that the bolts won't be short and uh, they will be neater and more aligned and not wonky and all messy. So let's see, what's this? Bouffant. All right, again, <laughs> it's April 2nd. Uh, what day is today? I don't even know what day it is. Tuesday, I'm here at the GNS warehouse which is in Seneca, South Carolina. And um, I'm giving you a tour. I'm now walking through the cave aisle and Philip and that whole crew, the, uh, the fabric mafia, they're like gangsters. They're awesome. Um, so here we have bad shadow, but here, okay, now we're gonna move on. This is, looks like, what is this one? Scion? That's what it looks like. The cop, doc, 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 garaya. I can't even say it, I'm sorry. So it's this line. So uh, there you have it. So again, it's April 2nd, it's around 11.25. I'm here at the GNS warehouse. These were the mushroom fabrics that they put on my desk yesterday for the April Fool's joke. This is from, this is beautiful mushrooms from Souvenir, which is part of the conservatory by uh, Anna Marie Horner. If you don't know about the conservatory, Anna Marie Horner um, got a group of designers, artists together, and they have con created a conservatory and they, do lines, it's about three at a time, Anna and two of the other people, or just two of the other people, or three of the other people, and they have coordinating lines, and we ship the lines one month after the other, or if a shop buys the whole group, they get all the collection at once, and there is a project that ties them all in together. It's pretty amazing, and uh, Anna Marie Horner is really super talented. I was looking on Facebook the other day, I saw that she had, um, this is Tim Holtz, by the way, I interrupt myself to interrupt myself. Um, I saw on Facebook the other day, Anna was doing some hand drawings of her daughter and they were just amazing. And it just reminded me of how talented uh, 
some of these people are and how lucky we are to have them on our team. Who would have thunk? I still cannot believe that we got free spirit and my life has changed forever because if I didn't have free spirit, I would not have my extended familia, I don't think. So um, thank you all for that and hopefully you'll all be happy and continue to use all of our fabrics, not just the free spirit, um, but all the Jaftex companies, Studio E, Blank Quilting, Henry Glass. Uh, we also own Fabric Editions, which is in Greenville, South Carolina. And they have a line called Three Wishes, which has been gaining uh, notoriety. And we will have a video of that line. I'm gonna continue to try to get you more content. So Kristen, who runs, uh, who runs Fabric Editions, is gonna do a video and she'll show you the new lines. So I'm sorry, Bridget, you just wrote a long message and I, I can't read it, it passed by. So this is more cave, which one is this? Succulent, oh, this is a great one. Really like this one. Oh God, beautiful, really awesome. And then here are the other colorways. Oh, this is like right up your wheelhouse, you cave people. I'm in like cave heaven. Ladies purse, nice, nice. Nice, awesomeness, awesome sauce. All right, here. You guys probably didn't even know we still had all these fabrics. I'm gonna be, in, my kids are gonna inherit these fabrics and maybe even pass down to the sixth generation. We might have these for so long. Hopefully not, I'm totally joking. All right, so, oh, here it is. Uh, I think, oh no, this is shaggy. This is a great one. Really awesome. Philip, you're the man. You are the man. All right, how about we give a little heart for Philip? That guy deserves some hearts over there in his remote island in the wherever he is. Where are you, Philip? So here we got more. A lot of you, Philip. There you go, Philip. See that? Look at all those hearts. Those are all for you, buddy. Shaggy, yep. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna move it along. Sorry for the speed. All right, so how we doing? You guys doing good? You enjoying? You on your second cup of coffee yet? You wanna take a bathroom break? Say hi to Vanessa, hi Vanessa. Hi. No one wants to be on camera. All right, we are now entering the third room. A Little bit messy, but these are 108 flannels. These are from A.E. Nathan. And these are the single ply flannels. And here we have some flannel. And uh, A. Nathan is one of our older divisions. Uh, unfortunately, the business has been slowly dwindling because we really don't sell to the chains anymore. That used to be our mainstay, but it's really been too hard uh, to deal with them. So I think it's more valuable to spend my time with people like you and quilt shops. So this is the design. Uh, for later, this is the one, this is the A. Nathan flannel that I'm gonna give away. This is the bolt. So you gotta get ready to answer that question when it comes out if you want it. But these are really just cute novelties. This is a great price. If you wanna just make pajamas or your kids wanna play around, you know, this is uh, at a shop, it's probably six, seven bucks. Look at these sharks, really cool. Oh, the color looks terrible on the video. All right, so I'm gonna cruise through here. I don't know if anyone cares so much about A. Nathan, I'm sure you're all like trying to figure out how I let all that cave and fill up and Brandon go by. <laughs> and you're probably just in awe trying to get used to it being gone. But we will have more, there's more. So this is a really cool line. This is the Studio E, the nature walk line. Uh, this one did really well. I've showed this on my videos, the feathers, and then this really dramatic kind of window pane sort of scene, hard to see. Yep, baby shark. Oh, my kids sing that song all the time. So this is the Digital 108. This is, uh, I just blogged about this yesterday. This is, um, this is uh, Watercolor Meadow, and it's really cool, really colorful. And the reason why we had to digitally print it, look at all the shades. That's where we need to digitally print, when there are just so many shades. Okay. And then here we have, you know, I've told you about our tea towels. So those are over here and here's the box. So with the Studio E tea towels, they're called E towels. Thought that was kind of clever. Six in a pack. You could get those, you could embroider on them. They're pretty awesome. We have a whole bunch of different designs. 
We have solid white, some more solid white, bunch of others. All right, let's keep going. So here we have, let's see, ah, peppered cottons, yum. We even have some older peppered cotton stripes. We gotta get rid of these, these are old. Uh, the stripes, we didn't do great with those, so we kinda just need to move on. Can't fall in love. Ooh, they got the camera all set up. All right, so let's keep going here. Uh, so this is the Cuddle Me Flannel. This was also a Studio E Basic. That's, and actually we share this inventory with Henry Glass and it's a two ply flannel. So when you're making those yummy two ply flannel quilts, you can put some solid on the back. This two ply solid is yummy. So here's some peppered cotton 108s. And you guys know about the shot cottons, the, the um, yarns in each direction in the warp and the weft are different colors. And that, what, what's, that is what gives it a kind of a sheen or a glare, or uh, when you look at it from different angles, it looks like different colors. So it's really a cool effect if you don't want to just do the regular um, solids, just straight solids, like the essential solids. Or, um, I don't know, I think I mentioned to you guys about blank quilting. Blank quilting does solids and we dye them in Korea and they're really beautiful. Not that many people do that, but they are really of a supreme quality. I th actually, I take that back. Uh, the Free Spirit ones are in Korea too. So I take that back, but they're really nice. The black is one that people really die for because it's pure black. It's double dyed. It's always the black color. Here's a 108 from Henry Glass, Prairie Vine. And um, yesterday I did my blog on the uh, Studio E 108 wides. And next week, or if I get interrupted with something else, I'll do blank and then Henry Glass. So you'll hear about all the 108s. Um, you know, for those of you guys who are not piecing your um, quilts using 45 and putting it together, uh, 108 is a nice, easy solution for that. So this is one that I discussed in uh, my blog yesterday. These are the 108 solids that Studio E runs. We share this inventory with Henry Glass and both companies offer this. You know, it's just a basic. So rather than, uh, you have to buy a lot at one time. So it makes, it's more efficient for us to share the inventory and just kind of use it as it's needed. And then when we need to order, when both companies sell out, uh, we order more. So this is a cool one. I think this is the dot centric. All right, so let's see. So now we're in Henry, zone, Henry Glass Zone, pumpkin farm yarn dyes. And then they keep the pattern and color up here and they put these stickers on. And then I guess when they take them down. So this is Stacy West. She's got the buttermilk basin. This is a 15 yard bolt. Everything is there. And then a, a lot of yarn dyes. So uh, Henry Glass is different than who would have the nerve to do that right in the middle. And it blacks out my whole screen. We got to get that fixed. All right. So I'm going to keep cruising. Look at all these. Henry Glass Yummies. Let's see what this is. This is Tickled Pink. So a little harder to see. Uh, more Tickled Pink. And then we're just gonna keep cruising. I don't know if I could do every aisle. This is the Aflutter panel. This is really cool and dramatic. And then just so much fabric. This is the Viva Terra. Beautiful butterflies. Butterflies have been really hot. And these stones, I think these are super cool. Yep, Stacy West is a doll. And then here's the camera taking us of, and we're taking them. All right, let's see. So then this is, you remember yesterday, I showed you the Transparency 108 on my blog. And then this is the Oval Essence 108 and more of the Transparencies and Solid and Oval Essence and Oval Essence and Oval Essence an oval essence. Guess what? An oval essence. All right, so I'm gonna just jack down this aisle. I skipped one, but don't tell anyone. Up. Oh. All right, so let's, so this is, this is a, a Elizabeth Isles, is a Studio E designer, and uh, she does all these great lines. Mariposa, um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be mean. You know, listen, you, you know, I show you fabric, on the one hand, you're mad at me for showing you so much fabric, but on the other hand, you love that I'm showing you fabric. So which is it, Ning? You gotta figure it out. I can't play it both ways. So 
If you don't like it, you don't have to watch the videos. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm kidding, but Ning, I really want you to stay here because you're always full of funny stuff. Hi, Buffy. Hi, Betty. All right, so anyway, this is Feather and Flora. This was our line that we came up with in our office. The idea is to be like a batik, but it's printed, and it has these beautiful, look how colorful this is. Really cool. So it's not digital, it's not a batik, it's regular printed. Can we see the teal? The teal of what? The teal here? This? That's not teal. Uh, I want it all. You're doing a fine job, keep it up. Thank you. All right, so where is the teal? Oh, this one? Here you go, there's your teal. There is your teal. All right, so here we go. All right, let's keep moving. Here, so we could go up this little stairway. Let's see. We'll go give you the, the high view. Check it out, can you hear me? Hi guys. Hi. Wave, hi. All right, look at this. Look at the ceiling, looks good. We're doing good here. I gotta say, I, I must say, I take zero credit for this. This is all my brother, the G and G and S. Um, he really did a great job in managing that. I, you know, I really do more of the sales and he's really more in charge of the warehouse, the insurance, the credit. He has the harder jobs. Um, I get to deal with all the nice people and um, he really did a great job. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. How are you? Good Smile. Morning. What do we got here? Buttermilk Autumn. So now they're just filling up the racks, making it nice and neat, taking their time. Bend, look how she bends her knees, it's great. Good job, thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, you're dizzy, I'm sorry. I told you to sit down. All right, again, it's April 2nd, it's uh, 11.35. This is Scott Fortunoff, I'm at the GNS Warehouse, and we are getting to the tail end of this, and I'm gonna be asking you questions shortly, and we are gonna get some winners, some bolts of fabric. Yes, I said bolts of fabric. We're not talking about little stinky pre-cuts. We're talking full freaking bolts, Familia. I don't play. I want you guys to feel the love. And I want you to, oh, no, it's for me. I'm having a heart attack. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is, what is this? Modern Melody. Oh, so this is the Henry Glass Basic, the Modern Melody. I went over this one. This is, they have this in a ton of colors. It's all right here. It's hard to tell as I'm, kind of cruising through here, but I don't know. I think your patience is waning and you're all still giddy from the cave. I didn't even see any tulip, where is that? But all right, we'll keep going and we'll figure this all out. We'll show you some tulip before it's too late. All right, so uh, this is an awesome little area and I've showed you these before. Sandra Mag Salmon does these books. They're all here. We continue to sell these all the time. They're great sellers, they're one yard cuts, the instructions are there, and our books are unlike anyone else's in that they have appendages, so I call them books on steroids. Some have feet, some have hats, some have uh, tails, but they all have something different. So this is the Ocean State line by Studio E. You've seen this in a bunch of different areas. This is by uh, Pam Vale, this is a really lovely line. Um, when I was with June Herald, she had this line, but I've been seeing this a lot this panel, she did a great job. Um, all right, so let's wrap that up. There's more of the Oval Essence. All right, so this room is a little louder, so turn, turn, your, uh, turn your volume up. This is a lot of different 108. This is blank quilting, this is Quarry 108, and it really does look a little bit like a quarry. I hope maybe they'll turn the music off for a little bit. But all right, let's go down these aisles. So here we have Galaxy Blast. This is Studio e, a, a Blank Quilting Digital Line. This is uh, Dog on uh, Good Doggy. We got Good Doggy. And then we got the Wine Line, Vineyard Valley. Oh, I hope it's not loud in here where I'm ending. And then we have Sun and Soil. This was a Hope Yoder line with the cactuses. Oh, my energy is boundless. I didn't even have coffee. I just, I love it. This is awesome. And I know you guys are enjoying this, so we are all in this together. Little fabric party we got going. Good morning. All right, so let's see. I really didn't show you any Tula, which 
is bad. I don't know how I passed that. Let's see more of the racking. Let's see, this one is bugs galore. Um, ooh, so here. Sorry. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so this is one of the basics, one of the new basics from Blank. And then we have the batiks, the Amazon batiks. I haven't shown you that many batiks. Kind of missed some things along the way. Here are pre-cuts. Hi, Vanessa, again. All right, let's see. So here we got pre-cuts, the nature's uh, natural treasures. That's a blank quilting. It's all different like stones and, and acorns and things like that. Uh, this is the uh, Scarlet Romance. This is the Starlet, which is a basic line from Blank. This is the Local Linda. This is really fun. I actually stole a bunch of pre-cuts in my office to use for giveaways. I gotta keep getting those giveaways out and show the fabric love to people in need or customers or people who are having events. They wanna do a little giveaway from us. Uh, let's see. So let's see what these guys are doing. So more fabric. More fabric, blank quilting. Uh, let's see. This is the Hoppy Easter line. Is that what it's called? Hoppy Easter, yep. Uh, yep, we got it all here. There's no shortage of fabrics, but thankfully the inventory has been reduced. Um, for those of you who are new, when we bought Free Spirit, we bought two million yards of fabric. So I wonder what it is today. Hopefully it's down a lot. So this is the Sedona Wave. This is the Blank Quilting 108. Oh, that's like a weird glare, but it's nice. So let's see. Uh, let's see what we got here. So here's more of the Starlet line. This is a Blank Basic. And then this is the Plume 108. This was a digital, another digital. And then these cats, this is Kitty Kitty. See all those cats? Tone on tone cats. This has been a good one. Oh my God, yep, you could say that again. Oh my God. All right, I'm gonna leave out the last aisle. It looks really crowded and busy. Let's see what these guys are doing. So, I guess they're marking orders, they're looking at the computers, but then when they fill their boxes, the boxes, they push them all the way down this lane. It's gonna get a little loud, so maybe I won't talk, but you could just watch and you could see them scrapping the boxes and how that works. So these guys are doing it up today. All right, so let's do this. All right, I'm not gonna talk. But Definitely don't want to get your hands stuck in there. Beautiful. Voila. Nice. So then it goes out here and they pack it up onto a pallet and then they take the forklift and they carry it wherever it needs to go. So here's the bathroom. We got our boxes. I did not show you any Tula hype, which is so bad of me. I'm sorry, Tula. But you know what? Everyone has Pinkerville. It's been out. Oh, so by the way, just so you all know, uh, Pinkerville has been going really quite amazing. I'm gonna turn it back on me. So Pinkerville has been going amazing for shop owners who are on here. Uh, we are finishing up, oh, I'm gonna take my stuff elsewhere. We are finishing up shipping as much as we can. Uh, it's been really amazing and exciting. Um, and we're winding down the orders and we're taking one last order from shop owners. This Friday will be the cutoff. And then after that, uh, it's gonna be a June delivery. What do you need? Be back in a half hour. Uh, uh, okay, fine. All right, I'll see you in a half an hour. All right, so that's Jimmy. Jimmy, say hi to everyone. So, oh, hang on. So these guys, Jimmy is like, he's our guy. He, he makes it happen. So without Jimmy, you have no fabric. So I'm gonna sit down here. We're gonna wind it down. And as I promised, we have a uh, giveaway and Again, it's April 2nd, probably like 11.45. This is Scott Fortunoff. I'm at the GNS Warehouse in Seneca, South Carolina, where my family stores all their uh, fabric. And uh, I'm winding down my video tour. And I have some questions for you all for those. And this is plain and simple. I'm gonna ask a question. 
the first correct answer I see. It's totally out of my control. It's all about Facebook. So Facebook has your fate in their hands and um, they, your, if your name comes up first with the right answer, you will win the prize. So those of you who win the prize, please email me at scott at jaftex.com. Please tell me what you won. S-C-O-T-T at J-A-F-T-E-X dot com. Jacob A. Fortunoff Textiles dot com. That's my great grandfather's initials. So are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so we're going to do this like Jeopardy, okay? You have to, to, to be correct, I'm going to take it to another level. You have to say in the form of a question. So it'd be like, who is Scott Fortunoff? Or who is Fabric Editions? Or who is Jimmy Fay? So you got to get that right. So it's got to be a question. It even has to have a question mark. I'm going to be real strict so everyone can have a chance because the questions are not exactly, uh, you're not exactly going to have to do a uh, dissertation on the, the question and answer that I'm asking here. So, all right. So let me see some hearts. Give me the ready sign and then we're going to start. So don't forget, answer the question as a question. So who is Scott Fortunoff? Who, where is Seneca, South Carolina? Here we go. So for Studio E, for Studio E, of course, Studio E bolt is on the bottom. So we have a peppered cotton. This is a, oh, can't see because it's facing at me. This is a 10 yard bolt. Oh, bad glare. This is color um, 34, which I think is aubergine. And uh, the first question is, when we discuss shot cottons, we talk about the threads going in each direction. There are two words that describe the threads in each direction, and they both start with a W. Go. Don't forget, what is da, da, da. You have to do it in the form of a question, so again, what is the warp and the whiff? Travis Seward, Jesus, that was freaking fast. Travis Seward, just tell me one thing. Where are you located? Uh, Jane Hansen, I love it. Erp and weft, you had a typo, so you couldn't have won anyway. But um, congratulations, we have our first winner. That was really fast and very impressive. The warp and the weft, and the weft is also known as the fill. So there you go, you learned a new word. So nice work, I see a lot of you got it. I told you this, this you're not gonna exactly have to take out your encyclopedia or use Google to get any of the answers. Um, I do wanna make sure we give these away and I don't wanna have to go na 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 Anyway, all right, so that was the Studio E one. Who do we got next? So, uh, all right, here it is. I'm gonna do this very, interesting. This is a new blank basic. The name of it rhymes. What is it called? Again, this is a new blank basic. I've talked about it in my blog. It matches uh, the name rhymes. Don't forget, you have to ask it in the form of a question. Here we go. What is Oh, we're still doing Warp and Weft is still coming up. Everyone's on a delay. Grunge, oh, Barbara, you're going to have to leave here. That's Moda Line. This is not, you're on the wrong channel. Change, <laughs> change the channel. All right, guys, next question. Here we go. This is going to take longer than I thought. Buffy, Laura, very good idea. Daniel Delasio, anyone else who says grunge, I'm going to have to ban you. Aaron Shaw, what is Jot Dot? Boom, you got it, kid. Nice job. All right. Great job. Jot Dot is the new blank basic line. Uh, you, I forgot your name already. Who won? I'm sorry. I have STML, short-term memory loss. Uh, you are going to get the bolt. Don't forget, when you answer the question, it has to be in the form of a question. This is, we're playing Jeopardy right here. So Jot Dot was the answer. Very good to the winner. Congratulations. Stop saying grunge on my Facebook page, please. All right. So let's see. Henry Glass. All right, so Henry Glass. I did a blog about the Henry Glass basics uh, recently, and many of you know the basics. There are not that many of them. But one of the basics has been so popular that we decided to carry it in 45-inch and 108. Okay, so let's do this. What is, and I'll show you even a picture. 
So this is the line, and it's the line, the Henry Glass Basic that we carry in both um, 45 and 108. Uh, Buffy, I don't think you won. So um, again, Henry Glass Basic, you're gonna get a 10 yard bolt. The Henry Glass Basic is in 10 yards, um, and uh, you're gonna get the brown color, which is really nice. Buttermilk Basics, no. There you go, Emily Free Sally with the What Is Folio, love it. Nice work, congratulations, winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, folio, it is in 108 and 44.45. Studio E did the peppered cottons in 108 and 44.45. All right, so we're moving right along here. Uh, let's see. Tool or a cafe? Let's do a cafe. Cafe Facet is someone uh, many of you look up to, and, and he's just really an amazing guy. Um, He's so cool, and you're ready. Okay, don't forget, we're playing Jeopardy. It has to be in the form of a question. Kate Bassett is so cool that some of his designs were recently used in a clothing line. What is the name of that clothing brand? Go. Come on, you guys so got this. Oh my God, you're still talking about Jimmy. Wow, I guess there's some delay, but again, we got, yep, Aaron Shaw, I, did you win one already? I don't think you could win again. You must have super fast typing. Let's do someone else if it's you. But uh, Missy, you'll be the second one if, uh, if uh, Aaron already won one. I could swear, I mean, I do have STML. But Aaron, I think you won one, no? Uh, but anyway, so we'll, we'll figure it out when I watch the video later um, and you guys email me. Uh, Aaron, please email me at scott at jeffdex.com if you want to, just because uh, then we'll give it to Missy. Uh, I don't want anyone to get two bolts. We, we gotta share the love here. So, oh God, look what you're getting. So this is what you're getting, either Aaron or Missy. This is it. You're getting a uh, Japanese chrysanthemum green, PJ41 green. 15 yards, oh man. I'm gonna have to get you guys to do a video for me when these arrive at your house and show me what you make. Yes, you guys are all getting the answer late. I don't know how it works. I don't know who's in charge. I don't know if your internet is faster than someone else's, but uh, we're just doing winners. It was either Erin won or Missy. If Erin won a previous one, she's not gonna win again. So, uh, so uh, well, I think I just see that Erin said it let it go to Missy. But Erin, if you didn't win one before, then, uh, then she'll win it. But all right, we'll, we'll work it out. And if not, I'll, everyone will get a prize. It's all good in the hood. All right, so um, Tula Pink has this new line out. Um, I forgot what it's called, um, Pinkerville. Oh yeah, so um, in this Pinkerville line, uh, in this Pinkerville line, I'll, I'll list who won uh, later in the feed or on a different post and, and tell everyone what they won so you all know. Um, so let's do the next one. So Tula Pink has this really awesome line and, and it's really cool. And by the way, I'm just gonna interject because that's what I do and I talk and it's almost an hour. This is insane. My phone battery is gonna die. But so um, I can't believe you guys are with me that long. Why doesn't anyone have a job? But anyway, I was at the office yesterday and I saw the next two collections that Tula Pink is gonna introduce and you guys are gonna die. Sorry, I didn't do the question yet. So here we go. Uh, you can you can come. It's on me. The camera's on me. All right. So in Tula Pink's Pinkerville line, this is one of the skews. What is the name of this skew? What is the name of the skew? Don't forget, this has to be in the form of a question. We're playing Jeopardy, so it needs to say what is. What is this? Is a Tula Pink skew from Pinkerville, and up. Oh, Nicole White, my girl, there you go. I think you were the first one I saw, or maybe I looked down, I hope I didn't miss it, but I think you said, what is fairy dust? Let's see, let's go back. Retired, retired. What is fairy dust? But Nicole White, oh God, you don't have a question mark, but I'm gonna let it go, because I, I don't wanna do that. I don't really wanna be that harsh. But next time, Nicole White, no question mark, no free bolt of this fabric, fairy dust. This probably will remain a basic. This, this skew itself is outselling like probably the next best skew by double, which is pretty crazy. So, um, all right, let's go. Sue Fenwick, I'm at the office at my job. Everyone's answering me. A lot of people are saying they're retired, they're disabled, whatever, I, you're home, it's all good. Uh, let's see. 
So, um, all right. So let's see. Oh, so we got a Nathan. So this might be tricky. I hope it isn't too tricky. And I showed you the bolt already. This is the bolt. Um, those of you who know A.E. Nathan, here's the question. Um, we have a flannel line, and it has a brand name, which we actually have registered because some jerk decided to steal our designs. What is the A.E. Nathan flannel brand name? And if I don't see some answers quickly, I'll give you a hint. Here's the hint. Don't forget, it has to be in the form of question, and the question has to have a question mark at the end. So again, A. Nathan has a flannel line. Uh, why am I not seeing any comments? Uh-oh, I'm in like a standstill. Uh, what is doves, what is fairy dust? Oh. So let's see, now I gotta catch up here and I don't wanna miss anyone. So again, A. Nathan has a flannel line. Up oh, there you go, I see, I think the first one I see, I think that was the first one I saw, Sue Lavender Cash. You are the winner of a comfy flannel bolt from A.E. Nathan. So, all right, now I'm gonna catch up with the comments. Uh, all right, so this was fun. I'm so glad you guys could be with me for an hour. I mean, I know now that you guys, I, don't, I know you're retired or this is your job or you're on disability. I mean, you know, maybe we'll go for, you wanna do another hour? All right, but I can't do that. Anyway, I'm busy, I gotta work. Uh, this, I guess, is part of my work now. Um, I will do this again, I promise. I'll give other bolts away. I'm sorry if you didn't win. You all put a great effort in, and I hope you had fun. Um, I had fun. I enjoyed giving you this tour. Um, I love sharing this with you all because I know how much you enjoy it. So um, that's it. Again, it's April 2nd. I'm Scott Fortunoff. I'm here at the GNS Warehouse in Seneca, South Carolina, and I am wrapping this baby up. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Uh, summer's right around the corner, and uh, keep those quilting projects going. Uh, share the quilting love. If you have some old fabric, give it to someone who needs fabric. I get all these people all the time are asking for fabric and sewing machines, and uh, you know we each could do our own uh, our own work by helping others. Um, we're all very fortunate. Uh, you guys all have the time to be here with me. I'm sure you could spare a little extra fabric. Teach a kid how to sew. Uh, give your sewing machine away, get a new sewing machine, whatever it is, we're all in this together. Our industry is absolutely amazing. There's so much charitable giving and people who care. And it means I, we're all so lucky to be a part of this industry and be quilters. And um, it's just really quite amazing. So that's me. I'm, I'm like gonna cry right now. Uh, I am getting all, all the clamped. So anyway, have a great day, you guys. I love you. I hope you had fun. Uh, keep following me. Keep following Studio E and Henry Glass and Blank Quilting and Free Spirit. Please get involved with us on social media and use our websites and take advantage of all it is that we have to offer. If you have something to say that you think is important, please let me know. I'm very accessible. I'm pretty good about replying. We want to know what's going on. You guys are on the ground. I'm in the office. We, I, ooh. I guess it's lunchtime. So bye guys, peace out. Congratulations to all the winners of Jeopardy. And um, that's it, bye.